Weather-wise, warm temps tomorrow will bring some strong winds. Meteorologist Dennis Brown has your Storm Track 12 forecast. Hey there, John. Expecting high temperatures tomorrow into the 70s and 80s. Now the numbers are mainly into the 50s with 55 in Greenville and New Bern, 57 in Havelock, and the same in Jacksonville this evening. Heading to the bus stop with a new week of school where it's going to be kind of cold, well, cool out there, not as cold. Temperatures into the 40s and 50s as we start our day. And high temperatures into the low to mid 80s away from the beach tomorrow afternoon. It will be windy. We have an increased fire danger and some storms of the way as well heading into Tuesday. Future cast is coming up. Dominus, thanks very much. Tracking storms in eastern Carolina. This is Storm Track 12 meteorologist Dominus Brown. No rain on Storm Track 12 Live Doppler. We are high and dry, but dry conditions on the ground and strong gusty winds as we head through tomorrow will lead to an increased fire danger as we go through the day. So postpone any of that burning that you have planned for tomorrow and watch where you place some little cigarette butts because any small fire could turn into a large fire fairly quickly with those strong winds. We're going to get some rain, but that's going to be mainly into Tuesday as a fast moving cold front moves our way, giving us a round of showers, thunderstorms, damaging winds and an isolated tornado. They're not out of the question as we go through your Tuesday, but we're going to see some rapid clearing from west to east heading into the afternoon. Now, temperatures aren't so bad in the 50s. Yeah, 55 in Greenville, the same in New Bern, but we have some warmer temperature readings to our south and also to our west as well that will move into our area with some southerly flow for tomorrow. Mostly clear at this point, maybe a couple of patchy clouds here and there over the balance of the night, but no rainfall expected. And by the time that we're getting ready and hitting the door, hitting the road in the morning, things aren't going to be as cold as they were this morning. We reached temperatures in the lower 30s in a few spots deep inland. How about 40s and 50s for tomorrow morning to start off the day? By lunchtime, 70s, 80s for afternoon highs well away from the coast. That's all going to be ahead of a cold front. It's going to produce some, um, yes, yeah, severe weather in portions of the southeast and also the Midwest as we go mainly through tomorrow. So that's going to be west of us. But as we go into Tuesday, we're going to have a chance for some showers and a few thunderstorms as well because we're going to have a collision between warm air and cold air with the cold front right in between. They don't mix. So as this cold front begins working its way eastward over the course of Tuesday, it's going to give us those showers and storms which could be strong or even possibly severe. The cold front moves off the coast in the latter part of the day on Tuesday, setting us with a cooler day heading into your Wednesday. So let's go hour by hour with storm track to a future cast, keeping us dry for the balance of this evening. We're starting the day for tomorrow under mostly clear skies, even for the afternoon time as we're getting home from work and school as well around dinner time. Increasing clouds as we go into Monday night. Then we're going to watch for a few showers. This is the morning drive time as we go into early Tuesday morning. Some isolated to scattered showers around the area. But then as we progress towards 8, 9, 10 o'clock in the morning, we have some widespread showers, even indicated with these red colors. Could be looking at some heavy downpours and some lightning. We'll see the front rapidly move off the coast by the afternoon and evening time. Cooler temperatures behind the front. How about 60s? 60s. 6 for Wednesday, warm back up into the 70s though, going into Thursday, Friday, and even into Saturday. But it's going to be a windy day as we go through tomorrow. It's going to kick up the pollen a little bit, and it's going to increase that fire danger. So please be extra careful as we move through your Monday. So many things to worry about, Dominus. Wind, pollen, <laughs> right. fire. Absolutely. Keeps us busy. All right. Keeps us have a job, so right? Indeed. Yeah. Coming up, Southwest Airlines says inspectors have found crap.